What's up guys, the Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we are on the Tour de Frost 2020 for the first time on the channel, first time on this game obviously but first time mainly on a Tour de Frost game on the channel and my first time on this game since 2014 so it's been six years since I haven't played this um, it's going to be Quite interesting seeing how I can compete seeing how the game is now because uh, I mean the last time I mean six years is, is an insanity in a, in a video games um, well life uh, life um, now before we start this is the version that cyanide uh, sent us about a week ago um, in said version we have Ineos uh, and the team Alpes in Phoenix Without their, rena their uh, real name, it uh, should be fixed um, on the 8th of July. No, wait, 8th of June, sorry, 8th of June. Uh, in an update, the uh, devs have announced it yesterday. So, yeah, don't worry. But I mean, even the kids for now are quite good. Uh, I just have to acknowledge the incredible pun uh, of Alpes in Phoenix, which is called Hairbird. And I mean, I just love it, right? Hair, because Alpacin is a shampoo brand, and Phoenix, because it's a bird. I mean, it's it's brilliant. Uh, obviously, as expected, you can rename your um, like the teams and the riders. Uh, so the team in one, uh, I've renamed everyone in the team in Eos. Um, but yeah, there's a new race. Uh, there is Liège Bastogne Liège added to the game this year. We're going to take a look at the what's new feature. Uh, but obviously, there is this new camera which we'll uh, try soon. New classic Liège Bastogne Liège. But then we also have a new time trial gameplay, which we'll take a look as well after that. Uh, In-depth management of effort. Alright, fair. Fair enough. Uh, try to extend the list of accomplishments of each team by winning the various jerseys in each Okay, so I guess this gives us like a challenge in every single team and an incentive to like continue to play the game. So, I mean, it, uh, uh, it's, it's a good thing for the lifetime. And um, yeah, bonus points. Uh, those are climbs and like at the summit of said climbs you can get 8 seconds. It's usually for the breakaway, but if you've got a rider ahead, it's quite good. Uh, before we start taking a look at Les Best on Liège, we've got four game modes, race, challenge, pro team and pro leader. Uh, I haven't taken a look at pro team or pro leader quite yet, um, mainly because I want to like do it when I'll, when I'll do maybe a series on it, uh, but we shall see. In the meantime, let's do Liège Best on Liège. Alright, what team are we going to go for? I think we should go for like a team that can fight. Um, what objectives? Win the race with Kudkowski. Top eye with Verde. Who's all champion? No, it's Matt Pelissa, all champion. Um, you know what? We're gonna go with Valverde and Movistar. Alright, then we're on the way. Uh, we have a generic NC champion for Valverde. To be fair, I didn't expect um, like to have an actual kit. So it's fair, it's fair enough. Uh, the uh, like overlay or um, in-game interface uh, is really different from like back in the days. Like I remember this being a thing. Uh, you can fast forward left in uh, life. I do L2, alright. Uh, I guess that expands the group. Yep. So we've got Hugh Carthy and Matt Pedersen in the breakaway. Um, how do you? Can you still call your riders? You cannot. You cannot. Okay. Let's see this first person camera. Quite nice. Very nice. I feel like we'll, we'll try that in the downhill portion. In the meantime, let's try to simulate. Uh, we'll th what's the difference between destination and fast forward? Oh. Distance running to feed. Narrow road. Feed. And narrow road. Alright. Uh, well, let's go to the feed, I guess. Alright. The pose because Carl Frederick Hagen attacked. I don't give a shit. Oh, I, I wish like you could potentially not see that, or just completely forget about it. I'm pretty sure like back in the days, you, if you wanted to like simulate until a certain point, you would just simulate and not even see like the race in the meantime. In the meantime, I guess it's a good thing it like you see something happening to your riders, but. Yeah, I don't really care about an attack from Catherine Hagen. 
Alright, I've just like seen that the um, gels have like really changed compared to like before. It used to like be something you'd select. Uh, I think even last year it was something different. Uh, now let me try this like new maintained effort. What is this? Is that maintained effort? Because if it is, I'm. I mean, I'm just not doing what I. Okay, so it's. I might be a bit dumb. But for now, I'm not getting it. Alright, when the code de la redoute. Uh, all the leaders have like one rather protecting game. I do love the fact. Oh, for fuck's sake, Simon Yates. I do love the fact that you can see uh, what the uh, riders are currently doing, like what their action is. So you can see that. Uh, I think that's maintained in the group uh, from Ben Ali Yates. And basically, everyone. Uh, I do like that. Uh, I do like that. Uh, do I have any teammates with me yet? Where are my teammates? Oh, right, Eric Mass, mate, come protect me. And you come pace 110% so that you come back here. Alright. Do we still have a blocker? We do. We've got Viermoz, Hugh Carthy, Nero Quintana, and Yonofredo. Yonofredo is still there, mad. Uh, then we've got Mats Pedersen, Stefan Kung, Lilian Calvejan, Conrad, and Sylvain Dillier. Uh, and then the Peloton. Alright, fair enough. Is this a downhill portion? Uh, it is not. It is not. Can you still zoom in on the map? You cannot. You can't zoom in on the map. Alright, so they've removed that. Alright, we've started La Roche au Faucon. Uh, we are 1 minute 13 behind the four main group at the front with Quintana, Alfredo, Conrad, and Kung. And it is a big acceleration from someone from Yumbo Visma here. Okay. Okay, guy, come on. Alright, lad. Uh, do you have. Yeah, I think that Enric Mass is gonna try and protect us so that if you could come back here, that'd be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we're gonna control and use some sort of energy. Uh, we don't even have to use L2 for that, that's good. Uh, so that we don't have to like gauge the energy, we can just let the AI pace for us, that's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Lilian Kamejan is gonna get co op. I do like the fact that the, when the riders are dead, like they are dead. You can see it, like they're, they're swerving all across. I really like that. I really, really like that. Uh, oh, we're not at the summit already, are we? No. Uh, let's see. Let's go into an uh, acro descent for once. There we go. Narrowly avoiding the uh, the, the grass here. Still 138 for uh, Quintana, you know. That's not something I expected. It really isn't. It really, 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 really isn't. Right, let's try to come back with uh, with Enric Mas and Alejandro Valverde. Uh, Enric, do you need anything? You do. You need your blue gel. Okay, I'll consume a feed. I'm just maybe lower our rhythm for uh, for Enric, so he doesn't have to like genuinely kill himself. We still have 34 riders in this group, I think. Yeah, we're going to come back on Conrad and uh, Hugh Carthy. Still, Stefan Kung and Johan Ofredo is still with Nero Quintana. That is. One surprising thing. Uh, Enric Mas is still holding on quite well. That's my boy right there. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Oh man. Uh, Marcella has been dropped. Alright, so we've got this like false flat portion. Uh, and then I guess it's a downhill towards Liège. It's going to be a sprint by the looks of it. Or maybe a win for Alfredo. Who knows. There is no Fredo anymore in the final 5 kilometers. We're following Michael Woods. Uh, we've used some of our blue gel to make sure that we can keep some energy. Uh, can we uh, acro here? We sure can. We sure can. That's going to be good to uh, recover some energy. 21 riders will fight for the win in this little bastonnier. Probably should take the wheel of a, of a Van der Poel more than a Yates, but it's fine. How is Remco Van der Poel still here? I don't know. Attacks. Attacks from a lot of riders there. We're in the world of Michael Woods. Wout Van Aert is on, the, on his own at the front. Michael Matthews has stopped. I think it is, it is Van Aert to lose here. We're going to start our sprint, it's way too late for us, we, we haven't been smarter, it's not going to be a good performance at all. Vaud Van Aert wins 
Liège Bastogne Liège ahead of Mathieu Van der Poel um, and I don't know who is third. All right, uh, so we come in 12th place with Valverde. Could have done much better. Could have done much better. Uh, yeah, I I'm very rusty at this game. I'm very rusty, uh, but I really enjoyed that. That was genuinely fun. That was genuinely fun. All right, and we're going to start our time trial with Tom Dumoulin. So there is a brand new like revamp of the uh, time trials in this game. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to go on the way and attack from the get go, just to like, well, get started. Uh, and now we're going to use our TT position. Now, what happens if I let go of R2? Nothing. We are in the TT position, so that's good. We don't need to like spend energy manually. Um, well, you know what? We'll, we'll do that in a in first person as we nearly die here. All right, so I'm breaking for all the corners. I'm always breaking for the corners. Uh, I like take oh take away the uh, TT positions. I don't know if it's gonna help or not, but we're trying. All right, let's use some of this energy. Oh, we're far. Oh, we're, we're 10 seconds down. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, because I'm currently 164th place with Tom Dumoulin. When, like, downhill portion, slightly downhill, with Tom Dumoulin, currently holding on quite well. I think I've lost a lot of time in, like, the corners. I wouldn't be surprised if I had there, at least. As we're gonna go on the power with Tom Dumoulin. Oh, I like this camera. I really like the first person camera. I really, really do like it. Uh, it's not going to be a win at all. It's going to be very slow results. But you know what? I like this camera. And I like this new TT mode. That's quite fun. That's genuinely quite fun. I mean, as you can clearly see, I really need to, to work on my skills right now. Because I finished 20 seconds behind Ron Dennis. I'm the worst guy of the team. Behind Ronewegen. So, yeah. Um... But this is genuinely, genuinely fun. Like, I haven't played T uh, yeah, TDF in, as I said, six years because I hadn't seen an interest in it. And the game is just so fun to play. It's really, like, interactive. You you want to get into your, to your race. You want to, like, fight with people. Um, it's different than PCM. But if I were you, knowing that this game as well comes out on PC later this year, that is an instant cop. It just is. It just is an instant cop. Because it's great. I love it. I absolutely love the game. And I'm not like saying this because like I got the game early or something. No, I don't know. No, no. This is genuinely good fun. It really is. Um, but as I said, the game comes out tomorrow. So if you want to get it, then uh, what? It comes out tomorrow on PS4 and Xbox. Go and get it now. Because you don't want to miss out on this game. And I shall see you tomorrow for episode 1 of our Tour de France playthrough with Trek Sega Fredo. But I've been Blackwater, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, and goodbye.